Okay, so welcome to my review of Fedora 17. It's a 64-bit OS version of uh, Fedora, and it's running GNOME Shell 3.4.2. I'm running it on an Intel Core i5, 3570K CPU with 16 gigabytes of RAM, and an NVIDIA PCI Express graphics card. Prior to Fedora 17, in uh, 16 and 15, GNOME Shell required graphics acceleration. That is no longer the case with Fedora 17, which is a great enhancement to the operating system. So after you first install Fedora 17, uh, you'll be and you log in, you'll be presented with a desktop that looks similar to this. It's just simply a clean slate. You'll notice that there's no home, computer, trash uh, icons available on your desktop. So this video is just an introductory for people that are unfamiliar with Fedora and GNOME Shell in particular, or those uh, that have used it or are currently using it and we just like to know how to kind of tweak it up a bit. So there's two different ways to get into your overlay. The first option is to use Alt F1 which brings up your overlay and this is your overlay in GNOME Shell. By using Alt F1 again we will toggle you out. However the most common method is simply use the Windows key on your keyboard or the systems key. So you simply hit that and that will bring you up into your overlay uh, as well. On the left here in this left side pane you'll notice that you have uh, Firefox web browser, launcher, evolution, rhythm box, I believe it's Shotwell, image viewer. This is Nautilus file manager. So you click on that, it'll bring up your your home. Hitting the Windows key again. One thing to point out is that when you see a little highlighted shadow underneath your application, that is signifying that the application is actually running. So Rhythm box is not running, evolution is not running, but you can see this highlighted little shadow under here. That means it's a, it, uh, the program is launched. Over here on the right, these are your workspaces. Currently I'm in workspace 1, and you'll notice there's workspace 2. Workspace 2 is a clean slate, so if I click on that, I have nothing that's available or any applications that are running on this particular workspace. And to toggle between the different workspaces are, is really quite simple. Using the Windows system key again, you can bring it up, go back to workspace one, and you'll notice that uh, I have that running. So the easiest way to launch programs is to use the Windows key. Begin to type in the name of the application. So if I want to want launch my Firefox web browser, I'll just simply begin uh, typing the name of the application. So I'm going to type Firefox. And you'll notice that the GNOME shell search automatically hones in on the Firefox, so you can just hit enter which will launch that particular application. Uh, the other method is to just simply click on the applications button. You can either go through the list of all your installed applications or over on the right here you'll notice there's several categories. So for internet, there's your Firefox web browser. I have GNOME and a few other ones that I've installed uh, outside of the default installation of Fedora. And you have all your categories. Again, I'm not going to go into specifics in each category. That should be pretty self-explanatory. The other thing that a GNOME shell offers is, a, is an enhanced search capability. So hitting the Windows key will bring you up into the overlay. If I want to look up on say sailboats, you'll notice down here in the left in the overlay you have Wikipedia and Google. If I select Wikipedia, a default browser which is Firefox will automatically launch and it'll take me to the Wikipedia and give me details. You can also use Google, so let's type in sailboats, choose Google, and again your default web browser will launch, doing a Google search, pretty straightforward. One of the first things you're going to want to do in GNOME, uh, or in Fedora 17, is install a package called GNOME Tweak Tool. So bring up your overlay by hitting the Windows key, go to Applications, come over to the right and go to Systems Tools and select terminal. You'll want to switch user to root. And you want to install an application called GNOME Tweak. Now I already have this installed as it uh, signifies here. If this would be your first time installing it then you'll be prompted to confirm the installation and again you must be root user. So I'm just going to exit out of this shell. I already have it installed. So again, to launch an application, hit the Windows key, and go to Applications, 
over to accessories and you'll notice advanced settings is indeed the GNOME tweak tool. So if you would like to have your icons placed on your desktop, you must install this little utility. So we're going to click on desktop. You'll notice it has have file manager handle the desktop. We're going to enable that. If you would like computer icon visible, enable that. Home icon, network servers, trash, show mounted. And then you'll notice they pop up here on your desktop. Again, you can customize this as you, as you so desire. But GNOME uh, Tweak Tool is, is what you need to get that uh, functionality. You also have files in here. I usually have this enabled. Fonts, pretty self-explanatory, the look and feel of your, your file manager. Shell, if you would like to show the date and the clock here, enable that. Show time in seconds, I, I don't think anybody does that. Show the week date and the calendar, I usually have that enabled. And when you get down into workspaces, uh, I just usually leave those a default, I don't believe it's four. Shell extension, uh, extensions, I always recommend that you have this one enabled if it's uh, already installed. It's user theme extension, have that enabled. Theme, I'm going to show you in part two of my Fedora introductory, uh, introduction on how to change the look and feel of your GNOME shell. And Windows, again, just your behavior of your Windows experience. So once you've kind of configured and uh, done that, you can just simply close that window. And now I'm going to show you exactly how Windows works. So double click on Home. This will bring up a window. First thing you're going to notice is that there is no minimize or maximize buttons anymore. To maximize a window, you simply grab the title bar, drag it to the top, and release. That will maximize your window. To unmaximize, simply grab that title bar, drag it down, and it'll, your window will change. Again, resizing your windows is all the same as in any other operating system. Pretty straightforward. The other way you can do it is to right click on the title bar, go maximize, or right click, unmaximize. If you'd like to minimize, you right click, select minimize, and you'll notice that the window has disappeared. There is no taskbar, and there is nothing displayed up here to give any kind of a notification that you have any windows minimized. If you'd like to view, if, if you indeed have any windows minimized, just simply hit the Windows key, and it'll show you here that I have two. So if I want to come back, you simply click on it, and there's your window. So I'm going to bring up Firefox. I'm going to drag that down. So I have two windows side by side. If you'd like to have two windows uh, viewing in a mode for, say, editing, simply drag your window over to the right. You'll notice how the screen on your right turns blue, release, the next window, drag to the left, release, and now you have two windows side by side. So this could be, this could be needed depending on if you're doing some kind of research or editing. You may have a shell instance over here. You want it to the side. The choice is up to you. To, re to uh, get away from this view, just simply grab and drag your windows as uh, whereabouts you want on your desktop, and that should be it. You'll notice up here you have accessibility menu, sound, and logging in and logging out is a little bit different. There is no button to power off. In order to shut down your machine, you must hold down the Alt key on your keyboard to get this power up feature, which will give you cancel, restart, power off. If you just want to log out, the log out functionality is there. And this is a, this is one that I'm not exactly sure why the developers chose this method. I believe they're trying to do it for mobile tablet devices. But this should be just power off. If you want to toggle it the other way with Alt, then that's fine. But I believe in GNOME uh, 3.6 that function and Fedora 18, that functionality will be present. So again, you must use the Alt key to get the power off to come up if you wish to power down your machine. So that concludes my introductory uh, in Fedora 17 running GNOME Shell 3.4. I uh, hope you can come back for part two where I'll detail you how to customize a GNOME Shell, use GNOME 3 extensions, as well as some other features to enhance your experience. Thanks.